Hi, it's Anne with MJ Gable. Wanted to do a quick follow-up video to uh, the one that Matt and I did the other day uh, in regards to lab-grown versus earthmine diamonds or you know what are lab-grown stones. I touched briefly during that video on the fact that there are two different types of lab-grown stones, uh, so I wanted to elaborate on that, give you know an actual explanation of what the two different types of lab-grown stones are. Um, so just to recap, a lab-grown diamond is a diamond that is made in a lab, just as the name implies, uh, versus one that is grown in the earth that takes millions of years to create that we then mine out of the earth. Um, lab-grown diamonds are so identical to earth mined stones that um, trained gemologists can't even distinguish them uh, by sight alone. We need uh, different pieces of equipment to be entirely sure uh, that we're looking at an earth mine versus a lab grown stone. So how do we make these things? There's two different ways. Um, there's the original way, which is HPHT technology, high pressure, high heat, um, high temperature, excuse me, high pressure, high temperature, HPHT. And as the name implies, we use some serious amount of pressure and serious amount of heat uh, to mimic the conditions of the earth in which diamonds form, and we just do it in a lab. So we take a uh, diamond seed, and we place it in with some carbon. We you know, turn up that heat uh, to over 2,000 degrees, and we put some serious pressure on it, uh, about over one and a half million um, pounds per inch of pressure. So some serious pressure goes on um, this diamond seed and the carbon around it, and what happens is, is it melts and creates the crystal structure that we need for the diamond. Um, you know, this technology came about in the 1950s. It's still good. It's still used today. Um, HBHT diamonds tend to have a little bit of a yellower tint to them. Um, their inclusions often are a little bit more metallic and tend to be a little darker. Um, but altogether, you know, this technology is still used. Again, it's the original form. Um, coming into today's technology, we use CVD uh, technology as well which is chemical vapor deposition. Um, that started in the 1980s. We've really perfected it in the last you know, five to 10 years to create some really great stones out of this process. Um, same idea, we have to start with a diamond seed that goes into a vacuum. The vacuum chamber is filled with you know, carbon gas um, and we crank up that heat again. And what happens is that gas starts to release uh, carbon pieces and they start accumulating over the seed, over the diamond seed. Uh, think about snowflakes falling on the ground that accumulate. Um, same idea, same visualization, is, is eventually you're gonna get enough that you're gonna be able to have you know, a diamond crystal formed. From there again, we take them, we take that rough and we polish them, clean them, make them look you know, like the diamonds that you see today. It's the same thing that comes out of the earth. Um, CVD diamonds are the most chemically pure diamonds. They are all type 2A diamonds, which means there is no nitrogen or boron in the diamonds. Um, those stones are made in the earth as well, but those diamonds are incredibly, incredibly rare. Um, those really, really pure, chemically, chemically pure stones. Um, so we get those stones out of the CVD technology. Um, we're not talking about imitations here. We're talking about just an alternative to earth mine stone. You know, when you talk about imitations, we're talking CZs, um, glass is an old, you know, imitation that was used, colorless zircon, all of those that don't actually look like a diamond. It's white and clear in that aspect, but it's never gonna reflect the light the way that a diamond does. Lab grown diamonds do that because they are a diamond. It's just made in a lab versus being made in the earth. Um, so I wanted to cover that. If you have any questions for us or for me, please feel free to comment you know, or reach out to us. Our contact information will be uh, you know, below, and I'm happy to go over different topics. You know, If there's something on your mind, reach out. We're happy to talk about it, um, and certainly we're happy that you watched this video. Enjoy the rest of your day.